and Hypen announces plans for first ever world tour this September. And Hypen is gearing up for their first ever world tour. On June 28th, Enhypen's agency Belift Lab announced, this coming mid-September, Enhypen plans to hold a world tour, starting with a concert in Korea, followed by stops in Japan, the United States, and more. This will be the group's first world tour since debuting in November 2020. Since then, Enhypen has released three mini-albums, one studio album, one repackaged album, and three Japanese singles. Most recently, Enhypen released their repackaged album, Dimension, Answer. The album immediately topped iTunes charts around the world, won two music show trophies, and became their first album to chart in the Billboard 200 for three consecutive weeks, while also achieving numerous other milestones. Ahead of their world tour, Enhypen will make their comeback with Manifesto, Day 1 on July 4th. Nam Joo Hyuk's agency denies new allegations of school violence after second accuser comes forward. Nam Joo Hyuk's agency has denied a new round of school violence allegations against the actor by a second accuser. Last week, a person claiming to have been bullied by Nam Joo Hyuk during their school days, hereafter referred to as a B, gave an interview to a news outlet about their alleged experience. On June 20, Nam Joo Hyuk's agency management SOOP firmly denied the allegations, and several days later, they announced that they had taken legal action against the reporter, their sources B, and the publication in which the interview was first published. On June 28, a different news outlet published an interview with a second individual, hereafter referred to as A, who attended high school together with Nam Joo Hyuk and also claimed to have been a victim of school violence at the hands of the actor, and his friends. This new accuser, who had not previously spoken to any news outlets or posted about their experience online, stated that they had decided to come forward after seeing that Nam Joo Hyuk's agency had sued their classmate, B, and denied their claims. A alleged that amongst bullying them into other errands, Nam Joo Hyuk frequently forced them to turn on their smartphone data hotspot against their will and that he constantly took their smartphone in order to buy paid games and in-game items. During school, Nam Joo Hyuk had my smartphone more often than I did, said a, since my parents were the ones who had to pay. For the games and in-game items that he bought on my phone, I asked him for the money to pay for them, and he responded, why do I have to give it to you? In the end, he never repaid me. A also claimed that if they turned down Nam Joo Hyuk's requests or did something that displeased them, the actor and his friends would form a ring around them and then force them to physically fight someone of their choosing. Because I did not wish to keep fighting, they allegedly chose to suffer one-sided beatings when they were forced into such a situation. That same day, management SOOP officially denied the new allegations made by Hay, stating, We have checked, and they are groundless. What are your thoughts for this news? Share your thoughts with K-Pop Radar on the comment section. And by the way, I'm really sorry if I pronounced name or title wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video.